It's play in the shed day. And this new era of having a DRO on my lathe and mill combo has got me thinking that I need a new project. And this is what it's going to be. I watched a YouTuber called Pask Makes make these. And I thought, hmm, how hard can it be? Let's give it a try. I only had that picture to go on, but here's the drawing that I've come up with of the pieces that I think that I'm going to need. Handles, jaws, and the handle insert. One side of each handle needs to be bent so that the two jaws meet up. So I've made this jig a female bit and a male bit and off camera at a mate's place I used this to press up the sides to look like this to make one side of each handle. So each handle has got a pair, one bent and one flat. Well it seems to me that if I just tack weld them together I should be able to drill all the holes through in one go and that should make it a little bit easier. I've drawn the plans with the DRO in mind so I started at zero and then every other point is a measurement from XY from zero. So once I've got these in the vise under the mill I should be able to drill those holes exactly. So step one is to find that point at zero zero. I'm not real happy with this edge finder I've bought. When you touch the material it offsets but it's really difficult to see and you can't even pick it up by the camera. Anyway once I've zeroed X and Y I then have to offset by 2.5 mil because the edge finder is a 5 mil diameter. So once I've moved X and Y 2.5 mil I've got the edge of the edge. Now I've got zero, I can drill all those holes. Easy. There's one handle done, one more to go. Now that both handles are drilled, it's just a simple matter of cutting out my design and pasting it onto the flat side of the two pieces that are still joined together and then I'll rough cut them out on the bandsaw and finish it off with the angle grinder. Oh and by the way these handle sides are 2 mil stainless steel.
After the angle grinder I did a little bit of finishing off on the sander as well. And these are the bits finished. I'm going to use aluminium for the infills of the handles. So I just need a couple of chunks cut off. So that I can drill the holes in a similar way that I did for the handles. And then cut out the shape. I'm going to drill these holes in the same way that I did for the handle sides. Got a zero point. So I set the zero zero on the DRO and get that point. And then I'm ready to drill all those holes. I'm going to screw the stainless handle sides to these aluminium inserts. So I'm going to tap all of those holes with an M3 tap. The inserts need a bit of relief angle cut in them for clearance for the jaws as they move inwards and outwards. I'm screwing one of the handle sides in place on these blanks and I'll just use that as the guide to cut out the shape for the blank. Now it's time to insert the stainless steel pin. This pin is used by the back part of the jaw to slide along and keep it in line with the other jaw. So I'm going to weld these in place. I don't want daggy weld blobs, so I'm going to grind these down first on the angle grinder and then give them a finish with the sander. The inserts also need to be sanded flat. Now a final touch up on the scotch bright wheel to make them all pretty. I'm using M3 stainless cap head screws to hold all of these three bits together. This is how these parts go together now. You can see how a straight bit matches with a bendy bit. 
so you end up with the jaws in line. So I'm just using a nasty old nut and bolt here just to put them together and see what they look like. Yep, I think that's progress. Now it's time for the jaws and I'm just going to make these out of mild steel which is all I have but I don't think it needs to be anything more than mild steel anyway. There are a couple of holes and a slot in these jaws so again back to the bandsaw cut out the raw material. This will be more than enough for both jaws. I'll stick it back in the mill and square it up and then I'll cut the two pieces out for the jaws. The shed made fly cutter does a beaut job of producing a nice smooth surface. It's time for the 3.5mm slot right through this 10mm thick steel. Not looking forward to this. I'm using a tiny 3mm end mill and I'm just using 1mm depth of cut to make sure I don't break the end mill because it's the only one I've got. Anyway, it seems to be cutting OK so I just need to be patient. Once I've cut right through the slot then I just move a quarter of mil side to side to get the 3.5mm slot. I've got a digital readout on the quill, so I'm just taking it down a millimetre at a time. And it's all going well. Ah, that's better. I can relax now. One slot done, and I know they'll be able to do the other one the same way. After a quick test fit, I found that I needed a bit of a relief angle on the one side of the back of the jaws because it was um, hitting on the inserts of the handles. Not part of the plan, but no worries, it should be fine. It's the moment of truth. Up until now, I haven't been at all sure that these will even work, given that I drew the plans just from a picture. So I'm assembling just with a few nuts and bolts. Alrighty then, do they work? Oh, look at that. Yes, they do. And they stay parallel and everything. Alright, 
Excellent. In my usual brilliant style, I forgot to press record when I blued the steel jaws. Anyway, here they are. I'm just using a bit of cold blue for that. It'll give some colour contrast to the pliers, and of course it will help stop the rust forming on the steel jaws. I didn't bother filming this, but as you can see I've made some little brass blind screws to fit the jaws and the handles all together. So those little screws have a male and a female thread and they fit together so that there's no sort of bolt looking uh, faces on either side. Now, if this was going to be a real tool, I would have put some Loctite on these screws. But, because this is so pretty, it's going straight to the pool room. So, I don't think I'll bother with the Loctite. This has been a fun first project for my DRO. And I think it's been a success. And a number of days of fun in the shed. What more could you ask for?